Welcome back to Solar Motion VFX for a quick another little tutorial. This time we'll be looking at the new spare state, which is an awesome feature that's been implemented into Blaze AI. In the documentation you can actually see how it works, it's pretty easy to set it up. It's just a component you add to your AI. Okay, so on my enemy AI I've added the Blaze AI spare state here. What I did is you need to give it a state name, and this one you can of course uh, call from the API. And then uh, the animation to play, and I just use this cast spell wizard. And if we go look, there's just a little animation I have here where he just drags his hands out and then I have a shield prefab that, that comes up. For my use case, what I use it for is that when I keep shooting at my enemy, I can keep burst shooting on him, which means he will just keep uh, shooting until he dies. So what I implemented is that when my enemy gets hit four times, then he should put up a shield and not take damage anymore while the shield is up. So let's look at that. So if we take a look at my V projectile control script, I just set up a basic timer, which actually look at the time from the last shot or from the last hit. So uh, what I say is that when I hit my collider, my bandit, then I go in and add a hit count. And when that hit count equals to four, then I should go in and activate the set spare state shield. This is the method which is also highlighted in the documentation. Afterward, it's going to reach the counter to zero. It's going to call this unique string shield, which we saw before in set. This is the state name you set inside the component on your AI. And afterward, it's going to reset the counter back to zero again. Up here, I ch simply check for my current spare state, which uh, checks for if it's null, mean, meaning that it's not activated, I don't have a shield up, then I can play my hit method down here. And then I have my parentheses here as well, where it says player.gameobject.true, meaning when I hit the AI, the AI will turn against and go towards the direction of the, of the hitter, in this case, my player, of course. Okay, now if we go back to the cast spell wizard here, on the, under events, you will see that I have an animation event called shield up. This shield up I have here on my heat counter bandit component script. Then I'm going to instantiate my magic shield prefab and I'm going to instantiate it on my transform, which is basically just either the hand or the AI itself. And then I'm going to destroy it after uh, five seconds here. And you can see that on my heat counter bandit here, this is the counter that's going to count, of course. And then I have my magic shield, which is just a prefab I have. And then uh, my shield transform is my enemy itself. You can use whatever transform you want, but I found it works pretty good just on the AI itself. Okay. On the spare state itself, remember by default the exit timer is a zero. I set it to five, otherwise it won't work. Four. He resets to zero and he excavates his shield. Thank you for watching guys, see you on the next one, bye.